What is going on YouTube? It's Edward here today with more gameplay and but we're not playing Division, no we're not. We're playing the Overwatch beta. Right now it's the open beta um, that's ongoing until May 9th. I think I probably will upload this on May 9th so uh, the beta might be over. But if you did, did not get a chance to play this game um, I highly recommend it uh, for when it comes out or if there's another beta or some kind of trial um, service type thing where you can try this game out. I highly suggest it. It's easily one of the best games that are coming out. Um, at least for me it is. I mean, if, if you need a quick description of what Overwatch is, it's, it's Team Fortress plus Dota plus Borderlands all tied into one and it's on Super Crack. Like, it cannot get um, crazier than this game. It's super fast paced. Um, and it's also extremely fun. There's so many different characters. I think there's over like uh, 15 to 18 different characters that are available to be played here. So yeah, um, I think yeah, 18, 21 characters. Yeah, 21 characters to be played. And right now I am using Sebastian. He is essentially a walking turret. Um, as you can see right here, as I turn into a turret and turn back into a robot. Um, he either has an assault rifle or becomes a turret. And then his super is like essentially a tank. Um, that's why I call like their special um, supers. So <laughs> I think uh, playing a lot of Street Fighter when I was growing up probably got me used to saying all those things. But anyways, uh, and I just get killed by a freaking dragon. I think it's one of I think it's Hanzo's super, which is just a giant dragon. That goes through everything. <laughs> Buildings, any like it'll kill anything in its foot. Anyways. So um, I also did some editing with the video in terms of like I skipped out on parts where I'm just like running from the base to the battle because they're just long, <laughs> um, just to save some time and to make this video a lot shorter than it needs to be. Um, it's, I think it's already like 60 minutes. So, anyways, but yeah, I'm, you know, uh, I, I played. I have a, a, another video on um, <laughs> on Overwatch that I uploaded a while ago on the first beta back in November. And, you know, I really liked it then, but they only had, like, two maps, and, um, yeah, there wasn't very a whole lot um, to talk about for that one, um, and in this one, there's arguably not that much more to talk about. There's still only kind of one um, objective, which is to push, you know, some kind of, like, one team you're either attacking and pushing, uh, or, well, actually, no, there's two objectives now, like, it's either you push, like, this kind of truck thing, which you see right here, towards um, the other team's base and you have to go through like two or three like three checkpoints in order to win the entire game so either you do that or you kind of like um, instead of pushing a thing you just have to take over certain spots and it's kind of do like a little tug of war type thing where each team has to take over like um, this a certain objective and like you know you the longer you stay in it it's kind of it's kind of like domination but instead oh, of on. having three active checkpoints you only have one active point and you all have to go to it so anyways we have a, a first win um here i'm playing with three of my friends uh who i play i mean i'm playing this on pc so i'm playing with three of my friends who uh, are pretty good at the game already. I mean, we've only been playing for, I mean, this is day two of the, the beta. I mean, I mean, we're not, I'm not saying we're like amazing. Oh, I had to show this play of the game. This guy who's, uh, who's Genji just goes crazy on us <laughs> and destroys all of us. Anyway, so on to the next what? gameplay. Here I'm McCree, the cowboy uh, looking. I do not go very, do very well with him. I, I just want to show his gameplay. Anyway, just to show you guys what is going on here. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I even get a kill or anything. I, I arguably don't do anything. <laughs> I just try to get used to that revolver, which I don't see myself using this character at all, but you know, I have to show the gameplay. But anyways, um, yeah, but they added, like, I think at least four or five more maps to this beta, and it's, they, I think they polished up probably, like, you know, they changed up some stats. I don't know exactly what they changed or added, but for sure maps, like, this was, this map was not in the previous beta. I think 
previous beta only gave you two buffs, which is one was kind of like a Zen garden, like the like very Chinese Japanese like palace type area, and then another one was kind of a very noir, noir um, type, like kind of city landscape, um, where kind of like a 1920s like, street city. Um, like that's like, that's kind of how I describe it, kind of like a like a London streets type thing. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I switched to Farah, which is arguably one of my better characters. Um, because like, I, I like players like Splash Dead. Farah, Junk Rat, which I will use also in this game. Uh, they are very easy to use, and they also do a lot of damage and argue, and so like those things, like, you don't have to aim terribly like well. Like, you know, a lot of these characters, like, uh, I think uh, the sniper, who's called... She is called Widowmaker. Like, you kind of have, I mean, you don't need perfect aim, but you know, obviously you need to aim well so that you can kill someone. You can't just, like, fire wide. Like, uh, Widowmaker, Hanzo, you kind of need good aim. Whereas, you know, if you're firing stuff that's, like, rockets and explosives that have splash damage, <laughs> you don't really have to worry. Like you just hope to God that things just land somewhere near them so they kill them. Anyways, so yeah, uh, this game, I mean, I, it's just a great game. Like, I think one thing I find myself do, like, you know this is such a great game. Uh, I find myself only loving these games if I'm playing with other people. Like, if not, and not just in terms of, like, real people, I have to be playing with my friends, you know? One thing I really love about, like, when I play The Division is that I get to play with seven, six to seven other guys, usually. Uh, oh, let's it. It's really a lot more fun to play that way than to just, say, play by myself, you know? Even when the first beta, when I was playing this on the first beta came out, um, it wasn't that fun because none of my friends were on it. Uh, <laughs> You know, I mean, it was fun in, in terms of, like, the game itself is, yeah, it's a very good game. It's really fun to play, but um, for me, it just, I mean, i just rather be playing with my friends. You know, we we use, like, a, a team chat so that we can talk to each other and joke around and stuff, but, like, sometimes you don't really want other players to hear or, you know, you don't want them chiming no, in on their stuff. Um, so here, but, yeah, it's really fun, yeah. I really like this game. Here I'm using Junk Rat, you know, he's just owning house. Or at least I, I feel like every time I use him, he does very well. He does very well for me, I should say. Obviously, there's some player, or some characters like that are more meant for you know, attacking and some meant more for defense. Like for me, I think like, you know, a player like players like Sebastian are really more for defense, for your offense. It's not that you can't use them for offense. They're definitely very good if you can, if you can um, put yourself in a place that's like very can do a lot of damage. Uh, but overall, I think it's more for, at least for myself, I think it's more for the defensive side. Uh, I wish I'd captured this footage, but I didn't. But another game we were playing was this entire team. Like, a team of six was all going for... Um, they, all of them used Sebastian. Like, at first they were using all Pharah, Team Pharah, and then they were Team Sebastian. And they... On the Pharah one, they didn't really do that well, but the Sebastian one, man, they kicked our butts, arguably. Which was shocking, in a way, like, because... I was like, what the heck? Like, at first, like, when you see it, you're like, eh, this is going be a good, like, you know, good tactic, like, when you're all the same one, like, you don't have a team, you don't have... You know, long distance, you don't have support units. But the fact that they were all the same character, like, it actually worked out very well because they could just use. Uh, some guys would just run around, the other guys would just be turrets, and if you put like, two turrets together, like, they could, you know, if you're good enough aim, you can just mow down, okay, right? Because you just aggro all the shots, um, all the fire into like, one person. Uh, but yeah, that was like, that was pretty interesting. Um, on how. Well, that worked out for them. I was kind of shocked. Um, uh, there's a Torb join. I still don't know how to say it. Torb join. Yeah, he's like Swedish or something. But at this point, like we're almost at the second checkpoint, or at least the first checkpoint. Like we're so close. Like I mean, we're and we're given overtime too. So uh, I'm thinking, all right, it's time to use my super, use my wheel of death, and I can't find a single person to kill with it. Still, and I try to go over here, and I run out of time. Oh, like, such a wasted super! Like so sad. I've had two supers, 
so far, and they've both been wasted. But finally, we hit the end of the checkpoint. There's only a minute, I think. You only have like two minutes to hit every checkpoint. So um, if you don't do it, then the other team wins. Push but if you do do it, obviously the timer resets. Um, I don't think they stack. I don't think that's a thing. But anyways. Um, yeah, I think I, I really highly suggest you, suggest you guys play this game. I mean, I can't say that. I can't stress that, stress that more enough. Um, you know, for me, Junkrat is awesome. He's basically like the demo man in Team Fortress. Um, the only difference is that he, instead of laying, like, because the demo man in Team Fortress, he has two different types of grenades. The normal one, which just bounces anywhere and just, like, you know, gets destroyed. And then he has, like, the right-click version, which is, like, you throw them out, but they don't, they don't, um, explode until you trigger them. Which, uh, this character kind of has, has, like, a landmine that you can use. Uh, which I like barely ever use, but they do have this bear trap thing that is very useful um, because I, I mean, there's certain points where you can just throw them down and it'll just trap someone, and you can just launch uh, all those grenades at like the people or your teammates can kill them or whatever, right? It's super useful. Um, but yeah, overall, I think yeah, you guys should really get this game. Um, I don't know if it's worth $60, honestly, because it's only, as far as I know, it's only PvP. Um, if, I don't know if there's some kind of story mode. I don't know what, how uh, oh, there no. would be a story mode, honestly, because, like, I mean, there's, there's, I, I have, I think there's, like, supposed to be character, like, backstories and stuff, but I don't know what they are. Um, and if there is a story mode, sure, like, some kind of campaign thing going on where... Um, yeah, this is totally worth 60 bucks, but if there isn't, I don't know if it's actually worth $60. Like, I mean, I bought it, yeah, sure, um, but you know, I have a disposable income, so it doesn't matter. Died. Or it matters, but like, you know, I'm, it's not like it's going to kill me. Um, but I really like this game, and like so far, the, at the very least, the, uh, the, the PvP is very good. And here I, I use a Zenyatta, someone I haven't used before, which is, he's like... A Dalsim looking at, like robot <laughs> and chucks orbs, which is actually very, very. Um, I think I might use him actually a lot more because he's very effective. Like, uh, he chucks this one orb where, um, yeah, like the, the what's that called? The discorded orb? Oh, yeah, whatever. But uh, he chucks one orb using E, where essentially the user or the, the guy that tags takes more damage. So, and I'm gonna get the scored orb. And I'm assuming that that um, that's uh, that's for everyone to hit too. It's not just your orbs. I'm assuming he takes more damage from everybody. Um, I don't know that. Uh, someone find out. But if it does, I mean, if that's the case, then arguably, you know, if I tag the tank or something, and everyone shoots on the tank, it's game over. Ah, oh, the sniper. I think that guy got me like four or five times. It's super annoying. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, this guy is super useful. Uh, his super, oh, he has another ability where he shoots like a healing orb at people and he just heals them for a little bit. Um, and so that's a good support unit and attack unit. Well, probably not the best attack unit, I would say, because he is, uh, I think he's more of a support, supposed to be support. And then his super, essentially, he goes into his, like, arm mode thing going on where he just, uh, he radiates like a healing field around him and it's a pretty big field, so... Those are pretty, I think that's like, uh, you can definitely use that to your advantage, right, um, you know, if you, which I think I, I will show in, I don't know, like a few minutes in this one clip, like, we're basically defending this one point, uh, and there's a bunch of their guys, a bunch of our guys, and, you know, I launched the whole healing field, and, you know, we win that battle. We end up losing, I think, overall, but well, at least we win the battle, so, um, but yeah, anyways, I don't think I'm going to talk anymore because I'm pretty much good to go. There's not really much else for me to say except for, except for me repeating crap. But anyways, uh, let me know if you guys like Overwatch. Let me know um, what you guys think of it. Please, if you really like this video or if you like the video, if you like what I'm talking about, please subscribe. Please like the video and comment below what you think of it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. All right? Later. Oh, let's break it.
under attack. Let's give them something to think about.